Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming. This is Alpha 20, and we are in our new house here in the snow biome, and I have everything moved over. And once I finished with that, I decided that we're going to move somewhere else. <laughs> so um, I was coming back to um, w with my last load, and I ran into a new POI. And I like it better. And it's just right across the way here. It's not very far at all. It's just right over here. Um, this is actually a remnant, but it's it's a it's actually a pretty nice house. Um and well, you know, it's gonna need some fixing up and everything, but uh I, like I said, I just I, I looked at it and I wasn't able to really go through it because it was night and you know when I come through here at night I've got everything just chasing me like crazy because of feral sense. Um, so it's extremely dangerous to do anything at night, but uh, I figured, well, let's just wait till the morning and we'll come back and then we'll go through it in the morning. And because it's a remnant, there's probably not very many zombies, if any, at all in here. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's actually a really nice house. Um, it's going to require quite a bit of fixing up, but that's OK. Don't mind doing that. Um, so let's go in and take a look at it and see uh, what's what. This Larry might become a problem, so let's just... Eliminate him now. I think that was a shoulder shot. And then we'll go in and take a look-see. Okay. Um, I have retired my knife, at least for now, as a weapon. I'm going to still carry it with me for butchering. Um, but I'm no longer putting it on the toolbar. Uh, that might change later on. We'll see. Dep depends upon how our specking goes. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and loot this place. Now, the other thing I wanted to also point out is because we are in the snow biome now, um, our loot stage is 84. So it's just really, really good uh, because of the fact that we're in the second to the hardest biome. Um, so we're, we should start seeing, you know, some pretty decent loot uh, in regards to that as we go through. Um, so let's clear the place first. Uh, that's the first thing we have to do. Then we need to... Uh, we need to secure it because, you know, because it's a remnant, it's got, you know, broken walls and stuff. And that's the first thing we're going to have to do uh, once we clear the Zeeks out of it. Um, so let's see if there's anything in here. Nope, this is just a bathroom. Okay. Um, we'll do a little bit of looting uh, while we're going through here, too. I'll, I'll take probably take the radiators apart. I, kinda, I don't know. I kind of like the pictures where they are. We might just leave them there. Um, this is a little plug here with a duffel bag in it. We'll take a look at that. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, we'll loot this here. I'm going to... I kind of like these chairs. I might actually put them back uh, later. So let's... Um, let's just throw them in here for now. Uh, the kitchen's in pretty rough shape, but we'll end up tearing all of this stuff out and replacing it with working stuff. Uh, but let's loot now and see what we could get all right oh nice we got a stainless steel fridge and it even has some chili in it i think we'll just leave that right on in there okay uh, we'll we'll put that stuff in there for now too check the sink it's got a little bit of lead in it that's fine so what i'm thinking is um maybe making this little dining area uh, the crafting room. It's not very big, I know, but, uh, you know, making that the crafting area. And then we have a back door that we can use to just quickly get get inside. And we'll have all of our food and cooking preparation stuff here. And we can put a Kim bench in there. Yeah, that's, hmm, <laughs> there's not a lot of room here for that. So I'll have to figure that one out, you know. Um, it might make more sense to have this be the crafting area just because there's more room in here. So we'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway... Let's go ahead and I think that's it for downstairs. So let's go upstairs and clear any Zeeks out of there. And then we're going to uh, move over here. Okay, so we do have a zombie in here. Oh, he just fell through the floor. How about that? All right. Well, let's go deal with him so he doesn't break a bunch of stuff. Okay, it takes him out. Look at this, man. We got a nice desk here with a lamp and everything. 
I love it. A lot of this stuff I'll probably just leave in place just because it looks so good. We even have a coffee maker upstairs. What more could you ask for? Ooh, nice. And a nice cozy little nook over here with leather couch up against the window and an alcove kind of thing. Is that bear aggroed on me? Oh, shit. Sounds like he is, yeah. Um... All right, let's get this upgraded quick. All right. Oh, wow, look at that. That was lucky. I wasn't expecting to take a bear out in a single shot. Um, but yeah, we did it. Okay. Hold still, Larry. I don't want to ruin my house. Doing a good job of it, huh? All right, can we like? What's up with the zombies secret? Um, falling through the floor in Alpha Twenty. Been seeing that a lot. All right, cool. So we got a bear, and we got some. We'll get some meat too. Um, here's my X. Yeah, that was. We just must have had a lucky crit, cause. One shotting a bear at our current skill level is not something that's going to happen every day. Or every time, I guess I should say. This will give us some good stuff, including some testosterone, which we might be able to use later for steroids or something. Uh, we don't need a c cigar, which is a, the other thing it's used for. I think that's the only two things it's used for. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, if we ever want to make steroids, there you go. Uh, okay, so here, let's let's go ahead and uh, take... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to leave that there for the time being, come to think of it. Uh, but we are going to... We're going to need to put a door in here. So I've been uh, thinking about... Um, uh, yeah, let's upgrade this. I've been thinking about how we're going to secure the place. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with a wall set up. Really? I don't have any more wood on me? Here, we can scrap those for a little more wood. I don't know if that'll be enough. Okay, we got it upgraded to that level. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to do a wall around the place. Uh, I, I often do a moat because moats are you know, really effective, but they're a lot more work to make and also to, um, man, we don't have a repair kit, do we? Uh, they're a lot more work to make and to maintain if you, especially if you put like, you know, spikes and stuff down inside of them. So thinking about a wall made out of bars, um, and going, going that route this time. And then we'll just have to, you know, we'll have to keep up uh, with its repairs too, but it'll probably be a little, <coughs> oh my goodness, gesundheit, <laughs> so, uh, excuse me, uh, a little bit easier to, with the upkeep on it and a lot easier to build. Okay. So we got a bird's nest here. we got that. And let's check all this clothing. I'd like to get a, um, I like to get a, a beanie, or even better, a beanie um, mod that I can just put in a, an existing hat. Oh, nice! We got some. Um, we got some. Uh, what you call it? Um, herbal antibiotics. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I think that pretty much. Wraps up the house in terms of looting it. Let's pick that up. Um, I'll wrench like the radiators and that sort of thing later on. Oh, here's a clothes pile here too. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. We don't even have any lucky goggles. Well, we do now. All right. That's awesome. We're going to wear these normally and we'll probably just wear these during the horde night. Okay, that was that was actually a really good find. We'll probably make this our bedroom. Um, oh, we got stuff in here to loot too. 
Is that sweater any better than the one we're wearing? Let's take a look. So the one we're wearing is uh, 10.7 cold resist. This has 9.6. So yeah, we'll just grab it. See what's in this box here. Okay, just some stuff. Um, let's scrap these and this. How does this do for cold resist? Ooh, okay, hold on a second. This would give us 21.9 cold resist, but it's not armor. And I don't think we can put a helmet light in it. Yeah, I think we're okay though. I mean, we're not, we're actually not cold. Um, at, at present anyways, right? So I think we'll be okay. All right, let's scrap this for those. And are these better with cold resist? Maybe. I need to get rid of one more thing here. Here, we'll scrap those and grab that. Okay. All right, we're completely loaded up here. Uh, so let's see. These BDUs give us 7.8 cold resist. These give... Nine. Yep, those are definitely better. Okay. No. What are you doing? Here. There. That gives us a couple more points of cold resist-ish. One, one and a half, two, whatever. Uh, okay. Did we loot this stuff? Yeah, we did. Yeah, this is a really neat house. I actually like this house. Um, so, yep, yeah, this is our new home. Welcome to our new home, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so, um, next thing we gotta do is... Uh, I gotta offload a few things, but we've got to get the uh, the house secured. You know, get the holes patched up and stuff. Um, here, I just got to leave that there for a minute. So probably what we'll do, uh, like I had mentioned, is we'll probably make this side of the house our crafting and storage area, because there's there's quite a bit of room in here. I think we'll do that. We'll make this our crafting and storage area. And then the kitchen, of course, we'll use for food and that sort of thing. And then the rest of the house, we'll, we'll probably, we'll fix it up and make it look nice, but we probably won't actually use it for anything in particular. I'm liking this. I am liking this. All right. So let's go ahead and decide where we want to put our, uh, we need to make a land claim block. Do I have stone? Yes, I do. I don't have room for anything though. Um, so let's just temporarily store a couple of things anyways in the toilet, because why not? Right. I don't <laughs> just put a few things in here. Just so I have a little bit of room. Do I have enough room to make a storage chest? Or I'm sorry, enough wood. To, yes, I do. Okay. So let's say, we'll make one storage chest. I'm just going to put this here because this is temporary. Um, Yeah, let's just set that in the corner so I have a place to put stuff. And then I'm going to put things in there that we don't need to be carrying around right this moment. Uh, we should check this against our, our current armor and see if it's better at all. Let's do that right now. So, oh no, that's purple. It's, yeah, it's definitely not better. But it is worth fixing up and selling. I'll put the candle in there too. Okay, good. So, I actually... I need to do two things. I need to get some wood. I got a bunch of wood at the other place, and I need to repair the fire axe because it's just about broken, and I don't have any repair kits on me. I have them back at the other base. So we're going to leave this stuff in here and go back and get those things uh, from our original place. And then uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going gonna, gonna to fix up the house. And then I'm going to move everything over here, get the storage set up, get the crafting station set up. And then once I'm finished doing all that, I'll bring you guys back and then we'll do the next thing.
right, guys, we made some pretty good progress here. We got the uh, bottom floor all uh, repaired. It's not nothing's decorated or upgraded, but it's just you know patched up and repaired. And um, uh, I'll work on the top floor probably at night. And so I got I started moving stuff over here and started setting up uh, some of our writable storage boxes. So I'm making more nails in here, so we can then make more of the writable storage. And I believe we're going to need that stuff for, um, you know, cabinets too. So, I don't know. Let's make let's make about 20 of these. Um, I took out all of the broken cupboards and, and cabinets and so forth in the kitchen. And want to, I will replace them with working versions. I think I'll keep everything in here, cabinets and cupboards, just because, you know, it looks good. And um, I might um, I'd like to get the windows and stuff upgraded too. We're, you know, like I said, we're going to build a wall around this place so that, you know, the house itself doesn't necessarily have to be super fortified. Uh, once the wall's in place, we just kind of need it to, you know, hold together until until we can get the actual wall done. So I still have a few more things to bring over from uh, the original base, too. So I'll work on getting that stuff um, brought over. This is just kind of a temporary place that I'm storing this and that and everything else. And um, what I'll do, I think, is just cut the camera here and get everything else brought over, get the rest of the storage set up and kind of figure out how I'm going to want to label everything based upon, you know, the storage proximity to the workstations that use that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm planning on having storage all the way around the room, so we'll have plenty of storage when it's all said and done. I left spots here for extra workstations, so we'll probably build a second workbench at some point in the future and probably a second Kim bench to go here. We're going to put all of our cement mixers over here and all of our forges along this wall. So that's the plan uh, for all of that. All right, guys. So yeah, I think what I'll do is let's just look at something here really quick. Um, if we go to here and we hold down R, um, we can make the cabinets here. Now what I might actually do too, these just look a little nicer than these. Um, I might actually pull these out. Can I make a sink? Um, sink, sink, sink. Does not look like I can make a sink. Uh, I guess, well, I'd, I'd like to have a sink because it, it'll look good. Um, I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll, I'll either take the rest of these brown ones out and put the red ones in or just go with the brown ones. I mean, you know... <coughs> The kitchen looks, it looks kind of rust, you know, rustic, I guess is the word. Not even rustic, really. It just looks all run down. So it certainly would fit with the theme of the way that it currently is. And then, you know, later on, we'll probably do some nicer uh, deco in the place and, you know, make a, fix it up and make it look really nice. But uh, right now, I just want it to be functional and, and you know, at least clean. And it is clean. We've pretty much cleaned up all the trash and stuff like that. So anyway, let me work on this some more, guys. I'll bring you back uh, later on. Once I get all the organization set up, the kitchen set up, um, the work, all the rest of the workstations in place, and then uh, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. All right, guys, I am back. And as you can see, I have all of the storage uh, set up and labeled and everything is in its place, a place for everything and everything in its place and yada, yada, yada. So you can just kind of see how everything's labeled and pretty much figure out what is in each bin here. Um, I'm not going to get started with any major heat producing crafting, AKA forge and Kim bench, um, until we get the wall around the place, because the last thing I want right now is a screamer horde to come in. Uh, I also reinforced the front door, um, as, as follows, right? So we got two doors here. I surrounded all this with cobble. We got a couple of upgraded hatches here and the other door leading to the house is this one here and I've done something similar uh, with this one as well. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is I kind of like this fireplace, you know, thing in here, but it really sticks out uh, quite a ways, so I don't know. What we might end up doing instead is putting an actual fireplace in there and then if we want to come in and sit down and enjoy it a little bit, we can um uh, you know, just light it up at that point in time. <laughs> it's not something I would keep running all the time because of the, you know, the heat generation and all that. Uh, so anyway, let's do this. Let's go into our building items box. Uh, don't actually necessarily want any of that. Where is my cobble? 
Okay, we got some cobble blocks there. We're going to need quite a bit more cobble. Uh, we're pretty low on it, and I need to get going on concrete, too. Um, in fact, yeah, let's do that first. Let's get a couple of concrete or cement mixers um, cooking up here. Uh, oh, I thought I had unlocked that. Oh, you know what? I bet it's because I don't have my uh, nerdy glasses on. Let's wear those. And now, um, yeah, now we can make these. Okay, so let's see. We need forged iron, springs, engines, and mechanical parts. Uh, so we have a couple engines. I'm going to make two for now. Forged iron is going to be in forged products. Uh, springs and in uh, springs and that sort of thing are going to be, and mechanical parts are going to be in the general parts box. All right, that should give us enough to make two of those. So let's get those cooking up. And then uh, we'll put all of this other stuff back for the moment. Uh, forged iron goes in forged products. So I have to get used to my own setup here. Uh, we'll put the gunpowder stuff in there for now. Okay, so we get we just, talk. We still have a pretty decent amount of wood. Um, so I'm gonna have to definitely need to make some cobble. In fact, you know what we could do? Why don't we grab a stack of that right now? And where do I have where do I have clay? Is that in here? Yes, it's in here. All right, let's grab about half of our clay. Well, actually, I got a whole bunch of clay in here too. Um. Okay, so let's go back to here for a second. All right, I'm going to cut my clay in half. And then we're going to turn the rest of it into cobblestone. In fact, I guess we can just do that in our own inventory since we got that guy working on uh, cement. Okay, put the rest of the stone in here. Okay, let's go outside and take a look and see how how this wall is going to go now i'm not really looking for a huge yard um so i'm kind of thinking about having the wall just kind of follow the you know like the edge of the property here let's get this tree out of the way um yeah so we could just have it follow the edge of the property um we do need to consider though the mini bike uh, and how we're going to bring that into the base. So we might have a little larger area with some kind of a gate or ramp or drawbridge type of setup in the back. But I think along the sides in the front, um, we just kind of follow the edge of the property here. And that should that should be adequate. Maybe we'll bring it out to, um, you know, to the front of, of our little sidewalk here. So... Yeah, I think that'll work. So let's make this the cornerstone. Um, and what I'm going to do is, can we come all the way to here? Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down one block so we have a little bit of a foundation. Here, let's put that there for a moment, for the moment rather. And I think this, the thing is really squirrely. I think that'll be the corner right there, going that way and that way. Because again, um, we don't, we're not really going to do anything with a yard out here. I mean, we're in a snow biome. It's not like we can plant a lawn out here. Actually, we probably could. <laughs> the game probably would let us do that, but I'm not planning on doing that. Um, the only thing we'll have to figure out what we'll do is if we do eventually decide to plant a garden. But maybe what I could do is make, you know, enough, a, a little bit of a larger area back here, so we have a parking area. For the you know the mini bike and then later on you know the motorcycle four x four that sort of thing and figure that out at that time uh, but hunting's going to be our main source of sustenance for now uh, like we've already talked about okay so this will be the edge of the uh, fence so let's put these in as temporary markers and we'll get our shovel here And, you know, the other thing, too, is this is snow, so it's just incredibly weak. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if... Okay, now we're into dirt there. Yeah, we might need to go down, too, at least on the corners, maybe. Just to make it a little bit stouter. Okay, let's um, put those there. 
And you know what? If I'm going to bury that, I'm going to want to upgrade it to concrete too. So we do have a little bit of concrete. Not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, we will have quite a bit more, you know, once we get uh, going with the... Uh, oh, that's not supposed to go in there. Okay. Once we get going with the mixers and stuff. I don't know if the mixers generate heat or not, or if they do, if it's less... Not sure, but let's get these upgraded to concrete now since they're going to be kind of buried. And then um, eventually the whole thing will be concrete. I might end up repainting it back to cobble just because it looks nice or maybe even a wood look to it. Uh, but for now, it needs to be... Uh, it, we're going to have to use cobble for everything except for at least maybe the corners of the fences. How much... Do I have? Well, I can do 14 blocks with that, but again, I'm going to have a ton more here pretty soon, so that shouldn't really be a problem. What we need to do, though, is we need to make sure that we have enough for the buried ones. So let's take this one um, back this way and find the corner for it. Okay, I'll put it there, but I think it needs to go... Yeah, it needs to go one more, which is great, because then we can just dig it right here. Okay. And we'll do this one, too. All right, so now I can do ten more blocks. So I think I'm going to leave those cobble for the moment. Um, and I will probably make this a three-high fence, too, by the way. And we'll have an overhanging, we'll have overhanging uh, bars so we can, you know, prevent, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that, uh, them climbing over and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's stay in this line here and figure out our back corner now. Uh, did that just kick out? Uh... No, I think that's right. Okay. Uh, okay, so for here, we're going to, like I said, I want to go back a little further so we have some room. Um, eventually, you know, we're going to have the 4x4, four four, which is going to be our largest vehicle. And we may, again, like I said, it, it, you know, if I plant a garden here, I might do it as a, a greenhouse just because it doesn't make sense to have a garden in the snow. You know what I mean? Um, so we might actually make it as a greenhouse. We'll see how that goes. But I'm thinking we should probably bring it out to at least there. Uh, let's look at it again. Maybe even one more. Man, you are so squirrely. Yeah. Yeah, that should give us enough room. So the idea would be that we would put a gate here and we drive the 4x4 four four in. We would park it here and then we'd have another gate going out the other side so we wouldn't have to worry about, you know, trying to turn it around. So I think that's what we'll, we'll do with that. Okay, so let's get the rest of the... Uh, or here, we got the corner here. So let's get this corner piece in. And, you know, I'm going to have more columns along the fence, too. This, I'm just doing the corners now and kind of getting the the layout of it set up. All of this, um, you know, sand st type of stuff, I might remove that and reinforce that, too. Um, and I might even go get go to the forest biome or, you know, from mining or whatever and replace all of this with actual dirt. In fact, if I do that, it might turn to, might actually turn to grass, which would be kind of funny, but yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's put um, these up here just so I have something to eyeball. Okay, so we're going to be, if I just make sure north is right in the middle of my compass and I'm looking straight that way. Uh, oh, that's kind of hard to do for sure. Let's get a little closer. 
I don't want to screw it up, you know, because then well, it'll create a hell of a lot more work for us. Okay, let's put that there for the moment. And then we're going to uh, we're gonna have a bit of a hill issue here, aren't we? If I put that there, does that line up with this? Uh, I think so. I think it does. Yeah, we might have to do a little bit of digging out around this corner then. Which we can do. That's not a big deal. Once I kind of get all this set up, you know, I'll replant some of these trees too and make more of a a little bit more of a forest around our base. I'd like, like there to be a few more trees than there currently are. It looks really cool, you know, when the sun comes out. And unfortunately, it's foggy here quite frequently, but it's just the way it goes, I guess. Um... Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay, so the idea here once again is we're gonna set up the fence. Um and what we'll probably do is it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for us to have an entryway in the front because we're always gonna be coming into our base from the back. And the fewer entries we have, aka gates, the you know, the less places there are for those almost to try and attack. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to dig. I'm, I'm probably just going to go down to the dirt for everything that's not a post. And, you know, this is always something I can change later if I decide it's, it's necessary. Thing is, is the Zombos don't usually... They don't usually dig down that much. They can, of course, but they don't usually dig down a whole lot. So we're going to try it this way. And if, like I said, if it becomes apparent that it's not working and they're digging down underneath the fence, at that point, I'll add another layer of blocks even below this. Um, so what we're going to do is, is I'm going to make, you know, just lay cobblestone blocks all the way along here. Um, and then probably what I'll do is, um, that's the center. I'll space it out so that we have, you know, maybe a pillar here and one here, right in that area too. And then the rest of it's just going to be bars. Okay. So what, what we'll do here and I'll upgrade these to iron, uh, but we're going to go into shapes and we'll just grab the. Uh, probably the centered bars for this particular. Just look and see what else there is. Yeah, probably the centered bars. So we'll have a block down there, like so. And then, uh, and this is, like I said, this is going to be three high, right? So we'll have another block up here on top of here. I don't know if I can get that to work. These are actual frame shapes, which is cool, because then we can put pick them back up. Right, and then we'll we'll have a block here, so it'll be a three high fence, and then I'm gonna take uh, the frame shapes. Uh, let's go back to here again, and we want the normal bars. And what it happens if I do on face? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh, you know what though? If I'm gonna do it this way, yeah, we're gonna have to have we're gonna have to have these bars come all the way out. Thank God we can pick them back up, though. That's that's awesome. I'm glad we can do that now. Um, yeah, so these are going to have to be... Uh, let's go back to advanced rotation, I guess. No, I want them vertical. Like that. Okay. And then we'll run the bars uh, copy rotation like this all the way across and again this will provide two um rolls that'll um help prevent zombies from climbing up on each other's shoulders to get to us but it'll also let us get up there and shoot down at the zombies if we get a you know it's a sizable horde in or whatever um the one thing that this could be a little dangerous with a bear but i guess for bears we don't need to be on top we can just shoot them through the bars when that happens okay so you guys should get the basic idea of uh the plan here um, so I'm going to work on this probably until it's completely done. And the reason for that here again is because I don't want to start any serious crafting until we have these defenses in place because I don't want to call in a screamer horde 
uh, and you know until that's done. Now we still have work to do upstairs too. Um, that's largely just going to be in you know me patching it up and making it uh, you know using the same design that it already has. I'm not going to change the structure itself. I'm just going to fix you know the blocks. And at some point, you know, we'll start gathering paint or making paint, and then we'll go along and we'll paint the place and make it look really nice, too. Um, that will That is my intention to do that in this series. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode. We might go a little shorter than normal, but that's okay, because I think this is just really a good uh, stopping point uh, for uh, for us. So uh, chance, if, if everything goes well, when I bring you back in the next episode, we should have our fence completely done. And, uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.